I'm a client of Anthony. And so I'll say that to say this, when we first started working together, I had, I, I, I filled out an application one time and I had to fill out all my assets and all my liabilities. And, and I, and I rose my eyebrow a little bit when I was doing that. But when I, when I signed up and I was a customer of Northwest Northwestern, they had the, the online dashboard, right? And I'm not sure how familiar you are with it, but they got the online dashboard and you link all the accounts just like a QuickBooks you would, right? If you're doing your budgeting. And I was able to put in there all of my assets and it calculates for me what my net worth is. People think of net worth, they think of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, people with, you know, billions and billions of dollars in their net worth. You don't think most blue collar people, if not nearly all blue collar workers, people that are making 50,000 a year, 75,000 a year, 30,000 a year, don't think about their net worth because what is that really? What, what number is that? It's probably just going to make you cry, right? But once I saw it and it and by no means was my net worth when I got done calculating anything, everything, by no means was my net worth anything to brag about. I mean, I've had, I had debt. Uh, I had a couple good things going for me, but I had some bad things going for me too. But when I saw that, I was like, shit, that's my number. And it was, it, I think it was equally higher than I thought it would be, but it also caused me to reflect on how low it was. And, and I think that anyone that wants to improve their finances, if you don't know what your net worth is, to me, I feel like that's step one. That's what your base is. Because from there, that's where you know you need to move up. You, can't, you don't want to move backwards. You need to move up from, from there. I, I recommend anybody listening to this do that. Do, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of um, education around net worth. Personally, I track my net worth every month. So it takes a second, take a look at it. What was it last month? What was it this time last year? And like you said, when you're in kind of the thick of it, it doesn't maybe feel like you've saved much money. But when you look a year later and maybe the equity of your home has gone up and the right. value of your mortgage or what you owe in your mortgage has gone down and the same for all your accounts, you see that your net worth has actually increased. One of the things I have found to be most helpful with net worth is when people have some credit card debt. Everyone's always a little anxious. I don't really want to move, you know, say there's $10,000 of credit card debt. I don't want to take 10,000 from my savings and use it to pay off the credit card debt. You know, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good to do that. But when we look, someone's net worth doesn't change. But right? if, if someone had 20,000 in the bank and 10,000 in credit cards, their net worth is 10,000, right? 20 minus 10. If you then took 10, paid off the credit cards, your net worth is still $10,000, but now you're not paying any interest to the credit card company. Now right. your credit's going to improve every month. One way to think about it would be you just took your 10000 out of your savings account that you're getting 0.5 or 1% if you've got a, a good bank and you just put it in an account that's going to yield you 21, 24%. By getting rid of what the other banks taking you for. Yeah, that's a hundred percent right. I mean, yeah, banks people are so uneducated. Oh yeah, I have a credit card. I pay the minimum, and you look, and the, they're charging you twenty percent a month. You know, imagine it. Or I'm sorry, twenty percent a year. Imagine you have ten thousand dollars of debt. That twenty percent a year is two thousand dollars, right? So right. a lot. Um, so I think yeah, taking a look at net worth is is a good way to do it for sure.